Okay, uh, today we're going to look at how to create your mind map with Bubbleus. Uh, if you don't already have an account, you'll go to the website, create an account, and you'll get this screen. And so your mind map is going to cover uh, the ideas that you're teaching in your lesson. So I'm doing how to create a Prezi. So my main idea is this first one here. And it's basically your title, to create a Prezi. And then what you're going to do is add bubbles that are children of this parent idea that, is, that are going to cover the main concepts you're going to teach. Now I can click to create new bubbles, but the shortcut is to press Command Enter. If you're on a Windows machine, it will probably says Control Enter. It'll show you right there what you do. So I'm going to press Command Enter and then it creates a new child bubble. So you see the arrow showing that this is associated but underneath my main idea. So get idea approved. So these are subtopics. And if I hit tab now, it's going to automatically create a new bubble at that same level. So first I get my idea approved, then create a new Prezi. And I'll press tab again. Okay, so I'm going to stick with that for right now. Uh, you can see it's kind of messed up here, uh, not really neat. And so what I can do is I can click and drag on each of my individual bubbles or on the whole thing. If I grab from the top, I can resize it. So I want my main idea to be bigger than the others. So I'll just click that up button and I can drag the individual pieces around. And so I kind of want this in order. Get idea approved. Create a Prezi. Create the overview. Another way to create connections is to hover your mouse over one of your bubbles. And then when you're over the connect button, you can just click and drag. So I can also connect those two since I sort of think this is the order I want to do it in. These are all sort of on the same level from that main bubble, but this is also the order to do it in. So you can do this um, different ways. If you've ever used a program like Inspiration, this is basically the same thing with fewer options. So um, if I then wanted to create another level, uh, say, for instance, I wanted to add some of the steps you do when adding images. I can then go there and start adding some more ideas. I can click the fit button to make it all fit in one page. And I kind of think this color is a little too close to that. I want them to look a little different. So I can go over here and click this color tab and pick something different. And obviously I will pick the same color for each bubble on that level. When I have it the way I like it, um, just like with your Prezi, it's saving as you go, but you can also click the Save button. When I'm ready to put it into my Prezi, we're going to get it in there much the same way I showed getting images in. We're going to download it to the computer, then upload it into our Prezi. Uh, you do not use this sharing button, which might seem logical. What you use is this Export button here. So you press Export. You want it to be your image. Uh, JPEG is fine. Click export and it's automatically going to download to whatever sort of your default location is for uh, web downloads on your computer. If you're using Safari on a Mac, uh, it generally will go to the downloads folder. Uh, where it goes will again depend on the defaults on your computer. It also doesn't give you an option to name it at the time, and I should have named this here, but I can go back and do that again. So this is my new mind map here. I click on that and press the rename button. I can call it how to create a Prezi, which will make it easier to find on my computer. And so I'm going to export it again just so that it's easier for me to find it with that name. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my Prezi. I'm going to go to the slide where I want to place this. Go up to Insert, an Image, Select Files, 
and I've done this a few times. So I want to find my most recent one. Not that one, not that one, but it is that one. So I'm going to open that. And just like before, it's going to take it a few seconds, and then it'll pop up here. And I can resize it and drag it around so that it fits where I want it. And that's all you need to do.